students let's study this song it's called the breakup song this is from the Telugu film Arjun Reddy first we want to understand the meter or the counting the rhythm the meter is in 6 8 so we need to count to 6 in this way for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 okay now, the first four measures are just drums and the little light background melody. Right, and then, boom, on this note we will enter in measure five with the E minor chord. So let me show you the four chords we will need for this section of the song. E minor chord, B minor chord, D sus two, and A. Now, each chord will last for one measure, and we will play each chord two times on beat number one and four in this way. I will demonstrate. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now we are at measure 13 where the singer enters. We're going to change the accompaniment pattern in the right hand and we're going to need two more chords in the left hand. So let's begin by studying this right hand. We will get in the prepared position of putting the ring finger on the second string, the middle finger on the third string, the index finger on the fourth string, and the thumb on the sixth string. Watch out because the thumb may have to move to the fifth string depending on which chord we are playing. Okay, now the rhythmic pattern is to play the, the fingers together with the thumb at the same time. And we're going to do this six times per measure, such as this. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now the chords that we need to add to our left hand are the A minor, so in this case the thumb is on the fifth string, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and the B7. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to demonstrate beginning in measure 13. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, E minor, four, five, six, E minor, four, five, six, A minor, four, five, six, B7, four, five, Six. Now we're in measure 29. We're going to change the strum pattern again and we're going to need two more chords in the left hand. So first let's understand the strum pattern. I will demonstrate in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, so now the two chords that we are going to need to add to the chords that we have already discussed are the C chord, okay, and the D chord. It's not a D sus2, we'll use D in this part of the song. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate eight measures. One, two, three, four, five, six. Measure 37 is where it starts to rock out a little bit. We really don't need to learn any new chords in the left hand. 
but let's discuss this right hand strumming pattern a bit. Well, uh, in this case we're going to play all six beats just like before, but let's focus more on the lower three or four strings of each chord and add a little bit of the palm muting effect to help us rock out. Now you can do this with or without a pick. I will demonstrate in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now measure 45 through 52 is the violin solo. You can check the sheet music and tablature if you want to learn that. And I will just quickly comment that the solo comes out of our familiar E minor pentatonic type of shape. <laughs> measure 53 through 60, there is an orchestral interlude that features the violins. This is after the violin solo, and now comes a little melodic passage. During this part, the guitar plays an arpeggiated figure. So it's easiest to learn this without the guitar at first, just focusing on the right hand. P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -M -I. That's all six beats of the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, or P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -M -I. So it's good to practice this for a moment without the guitar. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we will apply it to the guitar by putting the ring finger on the first string, the middle finger on the second string, the index on the third, and the thumb on the sixth. Now the thumb, of course, will have to vary strings depending on which chord we are playing. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate four measures of this arpeggiated figure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Now in measure 61, we're going to need a few more chords and a different pattern in the right hand. First, let's look at these chords we are going to need. A G7. In this example, let's just play four strings. Okay, and then we're going to play this little chromatic passage of descending from D to D flat to C. So I hope you notice that these three chords in a row are all built of the same interval structure. Now, in regards to the way that we will pick the strings, well, we're going to play the lowest four notes of every chord. So if we begin with E minor, that would be to play string six, five, four, and three. Then we will move to A chord, and of course on A chord we have to begin from the fifth string, so we're going to play string five, four, three, and two. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this together to make a demonstration. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now with the chords and arpeggios we have already studied, we should be able to use those materials to bring us up to measure 101 where the wrapping starts. Now in measure 101 we're going to need two new chords at this point, and that would be the G chord and then the D chord. So let me demonstrate four measures of the part where he is rapping. Of course, the next four measures are exactly the same anyways, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Okay. Now, take what you have learned in this video, combine it with the sheet music, and you should be able to play the whole song so you have all the tools to practice well and have fun.